Hi everybody, welcome back to our channel. I'm Bimo from Genie Guide. In today's guide video, I'm about to simply show you how you can actually use the Pixel Card AI graphic designing application. But before we get started with this video, if you are new to our channel, then make sure to leave a like and hit that subscribe button. And without any further ado, let's get started with today's video. First of all, if you don't know what Pixel Cut is, it is basically a AI graphic designer app or also maybe mainly used for a background removal. And it is also available both on iOS and Android. If you're on an Android, you can open your Google Play Store in the search box, type in Pixel Cut and go ahead and simply download this app to the latest version. You can go ahead and simply update it and after you open it now basically you also have two versions of pixel card one is the free version and other is the pro version you have you do all you also can do a lot of things from the free version itself but then if you want to upgrade it that is totally up to you if you want to first of all log into your account simply tap on the my projects button at the bottom right and then tap on sign in and go ahead and simply enter your details you could also sign in with google or your apple id i'm going to simply select google account and then go ahead and i will simply log into my account right over here now basically if i tap on the create button let's say if i actually want to remove a background from my photo on my gallery what i could do is simply tap on the photos button i'm basically going to show you to how to remove a background let me go ahead and simply select any of these photos right over here if you actually want to remove this background now in the free version you want to be very careful you only have 10 chances to remove the background at the top of the screen you can see nine cutouts left in my case i have already used the one this is my second cutout i'm going to simply slide to remove the background right over here as you can see as i'm going to, as i slide the background is going to take some time to process the cutout as well as the backgrounds so it may take some time to process so simply be patient and wait until the process has actually been completed and as you can see that the background has actually been successfully removed if you want to refine it a little bit simply tap on the refine button and go ahead and actually refine your photo to a point where you actually want it to be refined you could tap on the check button at the bottom of the screen in order to share this and import this to your facebook or maybe keep it in a canvas you could go ahead and resize your canvas uh, canvas as well if you have an e-commerce shop or if you're running an e-commerce site you could also actually use this for product editing for example you can see some of the etsy dip hop or mercari or shopify shopify portrait shopify amazon you have many more options to actually now this is mainly also used for actually adding and removing products so that it is easy for the background removal process you can see the option called product photo if you actually want to also make a profile photo you could go ahead and simply add any of this from this box right over here which you see if you actually want to add a profile photo as well you could also go ahead and simply tap on film stories and go ahead and actually choose a photo as per your wish if you actually want them to you can go ahead and simply select the image and frame and you can also go ahead and simply actually update the photo from your gallery as well now this is basically how it actually works. if you can you can also remove the background you can see i only have eight cutouts left so you want to be very careful on this if you don't have the premium version and you are a free user you could simply tap on the check button at the bottom of the screen to go ahead and simply actually add and make the changes as well you could also actually add some of the animated storage or wedding vibes or holographic views if you want or digital or food vlogger or ebay listings if you actually that's not ebay or you can also use colorful backdrops if you want you can also try the deja vu train which has multiple type of photos in one single photo you can also create a college you can create the pop templates you can also start from scratch you could also actually choose a social template if you want to actually use it now if you want to start a new project i'm going to tap on the project button and then tap on the plus button to enter a new collection or new project if you tap on the settings icon on the top right which is the gear icon you have the option to actually upgrade to the premium version as you can see you have unlimited background removals pro content library and phones and actually exports and no watermark you could also go ahead and simply actually upgrade it to the premium version else you could come back and choose my account or referred by a friend if you want you can also earn free cutouts by actually inviting some of your friends on the pixel cards app now this is basically how it works it is mainly used for the background removal it is as simple as that this was the way on how you could very easily use the pixel cut app as a complete beginner we hope this video helped you in other way if it 
did help you in any way then make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you have any more questions queries or doubts simply make sure to leave them down under the comment section thank you very much for watching till the end of this tutorial and see you soon in our next video